In this video, I'm going to show you what I believe to be the most powerful blitz in Madden 23 right now. Now, this comes to us out of the Nickel 3-3 Cub defense. You can find this formation in the 46 uh, defensive playbook, and we're going to be showing you why this defense is so powerful, um, specifically for what it can do to the gun bunch meta that um, you know obviously we've experienced for several years in Madden. So I'm gonna just set one different one specific audible out of the West Coast book so that we can understand the different blocking mechanics that go into this. We're gonna show you why the 3-3 Cub I believe is right now one of the better defenses in the game. And if you're watching this and you want to get my full nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. Um, if you want to sign up for that, we give you the best adjustments for every formation in the game. We teach you how to make this blitz incredibly effective. When they, whether they block a running back, a tight end, a motion block receiver, this blitz can be very dominant. And uh, we're just going to give you kind of a little bit of a taste of that uh, with this video breakdown. So again, if you want to get the entire defensive ebook, make sure that you join uh, the Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description. So what you want to be doing is you want to be putting, you know, your safeties. You want to be putting your safeties at the linebacker position. So what this is going to do is it's going to not only give us um, really speed is one of the most important things. It's going to give you speed and agility. Those are really important for this blitz. And the audible is already going to be set in the 46. The default man coverage audible is Mike Blitz Zero, and that's the play we're going to want to audible down into. And we're just going to come out in any play out of nickel 3-3. The main reason, a couple things, it's going to give us the better personnel. It's also going to allow us to get um, better adjustments for our formation. So we're going to audible down to Mike Blitz Zero. And what you'll see is if I just stand over the center, the blitz will come in off of the left edge every single time. As you see, one of the things that I think is really good about this defense is... It is so consistent against five out. So if they send five receivers out on a route, you literally don't have to do anything and you're going to get pressure and that pressure is going to come in really, really, really fast. Um, again, I think that's one of the big keys to this defense is the fact that you, know, you can literally just do this right here and you see how fast the pressure comes in. The problem becomes when your opponent is going to block a running back. So what you're going to see here is if I block a running back and try to do the same basic blitz, a lot of times this blitz will get blocked uh, by the running back blocking. And this is primarily due to the fact that the running back this year is significantly improved over last year. Another thing, if I audible to wide receiver posts, you'll notice that if they have an ability to block a tight end, the tight end will block the blitz as well. Now, I will say in this formation, more so than others in this game, you actually get really, really good sheds um, that will give you really um, you know, good results as well. So that's just something to think about. But again, the five out version is so good, it's so simple, and it just works. That's what makes 3-3 Cubs so good. But what I think also makes this defense really powerful is the way that we can get pressure if the running back does block. Um, all you're going to have to do is stand just a little bit to the right side of the center. You'll see the pressure will loop around the running back just like this. This is another reason why it's really important to have uh, fast safeties and agile safeties. Agility and speed and acceleration are really important because what you're going to see here is if you look closely, you're going to see that this running back is going to consistently dumb out against this contained blitzer and he's just going to loop right around him. Now again, I said that agility is really important. Um, I'm going to jump out of this and I'm going to jump back into the regular 3-3. Again, if you want to get the full defensive ebook, the link is in the description where you kind of expand on some of this stuff. Um, but I just want to show this with uh, number 9, uh, Justin Tryon, I think. Um, you're going to notice that the same exact setup, he's not going to be as good. So you see here, he, see right there, so, and that's, a, that's like perfect. So what you see when you look at this replay is kind of the purpose behind, you want to have those fast safeties with really good agility. When they don't have good agility, good acceleration, I've just noticed that this right here is way less consistent, and you, a lot of times you're going to end up getting picked up, and it kind of defeats the per whole purpose of having a loop blitz. So that's one of the main reasons why I like to come out in nickel 3-3 as well, because by having that uh, personnel grouping, I'm pretty much guaranteeing that I'm going to have really, really good um, safety support. 
So I see here again, the main thing all I'm doing is just putting these guys on a container. I'm going to stand to the right-hand corner of this of this center, and you'll see that if they block a running back, he's going to loop around him every single time. It's very consistent. What I love about this defense this year is, especially against like Bunch, and really most of the good route combinations rely upon you blocking your running back. Putting your running back on a route and blocking your tight end is really poor because the man coverage is so good in this game, you kind of need your tight end to help you beat man coverage. So I can literally just come out in this defense, and this is this is seriously like this is starting to become my base defense for a lot of def or for a lot of formations. Couple that with the fact that this formation, as a general defense, whether the blitz is good or not, has some of the best coverage defenses and the best uh, run defense year over year. This has been the best run defense in Madden. I want to say for at least the last three years and honestly i think it's i think it's been good for a long time and you see just how consistently i'm able to do this over and over again now the last thing that i want to talk about is the fact that if they do block a tight end um, so you see here i'm going to block my tight end you'll notice that they're able for the most part to pick it up but it will create these disengages now if your opponent is consistently blocking your tight end in the ebook we do share some really cool ways to be able to guarantee pressure but if they are blocking the tight end consistently i find that if i stand on this side i'm going to get that quick disengage as you just saw from my defensive tackle so there's just some you know kind of pieces to this puzzle but all in all this is an incredible defense in my opinion um, i think that this defense really attacks the meta offenses really well and as I said before, the coverages and the run defenses have always been good. When you have a blitz like Mike Blitz Zero that can get home even if they block a running back and can get home really, really fast and you're only sending five people, it really does take your entire defense to the next level. So if you want to get my entire Nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, please go down to the description below and click the link to join the Patreon. For just 10 bucks, you'll get access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates and new ebooks as well. We've got over, I think, 17 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you really want to learn this defense, I'd really encourage you to get into our Patreon page. We're going to not only teach you the blitzes, but we're going to teach you the run defenses. We're going to teach you the whole scheme, how to adjust your formation, how to adjust to what your opponent is doing, when to call what, why to call what. And um, anyway, so if you want to get the whole defensive ebook, the link is in the description down below.